All right, so um, go ahead and get going here. Um, I once again appreciate you guys for showing up. Uh, this is draft site. I can't believe it's not AutoCAD. Um, one of the things that uh, kind of comes through a couple times is uh, AutoCAD is definitely out there, and uh, there are other 2D CAD packages, and uh, they're not all TurboCAD, if you know what I mean. So uh, I always kind of chuckle at that. Uh, but draft site is a viable option. Uh, Want to give you guys a little bit of information on it, and uh, let's kind of get into this. So uh, basically. What's on the docket today? Let's talk about 2D CAD in today's time. Uh, the market is definitely saturated with a lot of 3D, good 3D programs that are out there. Um, you know, why would someone need access to a 2D CAD, uh, you know, option? Well, this is one of the things that we're going to talk about. The other one is why not use SolidWorks? You know, a couple of you guys uh, may have SolidWorks out there. Uh, we'll talk about the reasons why maybe not just SolidWorks, but a 3D uh, CAD system may not be the best 2D CAD system. And then uh, we'll kind of go over draft site just to give you a little bit more information, what your options are and stuff like that. Just kind of put it in a nutshell for you. So that's kind of what I want to cover today and uh, bring it along to you guys here. So, all right. So 2D CAD today, um, you know, a couple different things can actually pop up here. First and foremost is 3D functionality isn't really needed or required. I mean, I run across a lot of people that are doing piping diagrams or uh, circuit diagrams, PCB board layouts, not really necessary to do that stuff in 3D if that's what you're doing. If it's not high volume, uh, definitely the PCB stuff isn't something that needs you know, you know know a 3D package to do it. And there are options that do that. But once again, if you're not doing high volume, it may not be cost effective. It may be easier for you guys to do it every, in 2D every once in a while. Um, you know, it, floor layouts as well, too. I, I will say my, my original training was in architecture. And if I ever need to do something like create floor plans, first thing I do is I jump into a 2D CAD editor and do it there. And once I have that, I'll port it over to SOLIDWORKS for like the 3D stuff. But a lot of the bulk of the work is done in 2D and it makes sense to do it that way. So that's going to be one of the reasons why you might need a 2D CAD package. It's just you don't really need the, the 3D capability. Um, the other thing is, is you may have a customer base. Uh, your customer base may be still in 2D and you have to deal with that data. You may even have to modify the data or do something with it. And so, you know, it, it, it's it's going to be you know better to have that 2D capability if your customer is kind of requiring it. And uh, cer certainly enough, I run into that quite a bit as a uh, as an application engineer, you know, talking to people. The other one that we run into frequently is that the customer will request data. Um, I, I know I have quite a few customers that will call me up and say, hey, how do we get this information out to them? And, uh, you know, now you've got this 2D, it kind of gets into it, but, you know, you might have to deliver a 2D, you know, data to your customer as well, too. And once again, you're going to want that benefit of being able to modify it or, you know, work inside of it if need be. The last thing is a lot of my customers that I talk to, they have, they still have a lot of drawings uh, that they're they're dealing with, and the question that comes around is, uh, you know, what do we do with this? How do we do it? Especially if they have gone the SolidWorks route, you know, well, great, now they're doing stuff in 3D, but what do they do with this historic data? And this could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 year old data. And uh, some of it may be hand-drawn, but a lot of it's going to be electronic 2D, and they want to be able to modify it. So, you know, they just got into a, a new 3D program in certain cases, and, you know, they're thinking that they're going to have this full capability, but really, you know, it doesn't work out. So, you know, when they do get into SOLIDWORKS, or if you do have a 3D CAD package, you know, why not SOLIDWORKS? Well, you know, well, it, it's great for 3D modeling. You can make parts, you can make assemblies, you know, it creates 2D drawings, but really that's just 3D models stuck in kind of a, a weird space and makes it look like a 2D drawing. Um, you know, it, it works great for it. The downside, if you have to do real 2D CAD manipulation, you got to get in there and draw stuff and move stuff and do all kinds of things. It not the best tool in the world. In fact, let me let me kind of demonstrate what you have to kind of go through here. So I've got SolidWorks. Um, I've got a drawing here, and basically, I mean, bringing stuff in the DWGs is pretty easy. Drag and drop it in, no big deal there. We'll give that a second to come through. You know, when bringing it into SolidWorks, at least, what's going on here is we've got to convert it. Um, you know, do I bring it into a drawing? Do I? You know, a bunch of questions. I'm just going to convert this into SolidWorks entities. I'm going to hit next. 
next question that pops up, it's going to go ahead and deal a lot with the, uh, the whole, you know, like what layers do you want to bring in and where do I put them and do I put them on this level? You know, we'll, we'll hit next again. Uh, how big is the drawing? Is my scaling correct? Is my positioning correct? So there's a, there's a process we have to go through and I'm going to hit finish and it's actually pretty quick. I mean, once we go through and answer the questions correctly, it comes in no problem. But one of the things we start to see pretty quickly here is, you know, even in my experience with AutoCAD, I always use the black screen. And, you know, so we usually will tend to have lighter colors on the screen. And, and we can see here where it kind of kind of goes against us here. Now, the good thing is, is, I mean, we brought, you know, layers were brought in. All the stuff here is text. It's all nice. I mean, it brought it in great. But if I have to come in here and make modifications, you know, it, it's not going to be as easy. I mean, you know, just kind of moving stuff around here a little bit, we can see it's, I mean, it, it just kind of cranks up the drawing pretty quickly here. And I do have sketch tools and stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of data on the screen. Um, there's a lot of sketch information. There may or may not be relationships. There's not relationships here. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a lot of data and unfortunately SOLIDWORKS, well, it's not even unfortunately, it's just SOLIDWORKS isn't the program to do that. Um, you know, it, it, it can work with the data, it can look at the data, but as far as doing a lot of work with it, it's not going to be a good choice. The other thing is once I finish this and I'm completed with it and, you know, ready to send it back to a person or whatever, I've got to go through and do a file, save as, and I have to save it out as a DWG and then, you know, kick that back out and give it over to them. And then if there needs to be any more changes, I kind of have to go through the whole process again. So, you know, once again, while SOLIDWORKS and is, is awesome, it works great. It, not the best for 2D direct manipulation here. So, you know, it, all right, well, what do we have a choice of? Well, the next choice you can get into is you can get into and look at draft site. Um, I know that there's other 2D CAD packages out there. There's, uh, you know, AutoCAD has been out there for a very, very long time. It's very popular. But, um, you know, let, let's let's take a look at it. First and foremost, with draft site, when you get into it, if I need to, you know, open or close or save or do anything with the drawing, it's actually pretty straightforward. In fact, here I've got draft site open right here. And if I do that same thing I did earlier, I can just drag, drop it in, and it opened it right up. There is no translation. There's no questions being asked. Basically, we directly open those DWGs and those DXFs as native. The other nice part is, is while I in SOLIDWORKS, I could open it up if I and I could save it. But if I needed to send it back in DWG format, I had to go through and export it back out and send it over to them. And you know, every time you do this translation, you know something can happen. I'm not saying it always does, but you know, any time a translation is happening, there could things could be introduced right the cool part here is i make my changes i do whatever i need to and i can just do a file save that's it i, I don't do a save as i don't do an export i just hit save and it's all done um you know if i take a customer data take it open it up manipulate it save it send it back to them they can open it up in their other system with no problems whatsoever um you know it, it's going to act like a drawing look like a drawing smell like a drawing everything's going to be the same there so that's going to be one of the key benefits is with uh you know with with draft site here is that you know it, it's not autocad but it still deals with that dwg data and it still works with it doesn't have an issue with it whatsoever all right so, you know, draft site and its offerings. Um, one of the things that I want to talk about is, um, you know, it, it comes in a couple of different flavors. There is a standard model for it. There is a professional version of it, and there's a premium version of it. And ultimately, what does that actually mean? Well, you know, if we take a look at it, it comes down to pricing for the, you know, it's going to be one of the big things that you're going to get into. So your draft site is going to run about ninety nine dollars a year. Uh, draft site professional is going to you know be about a hundred dollars more per year, and then there is a draft site premium version that is available, and that's going to come in at about four ninety nine per year. Um, so you know the, there is a yearly you know subscription. You're you're going to get support for it. You're going to get the newest and greatest that comes through. Any updates are happening to it. You know that those are going to be our standard support options that come through. 
But how does that actually compare to the other version uh, of, of AutoCAD that's out there? So, you know, so AutoCAD comes kind of comes in two flavors. There's an AutoCAD LT and there's an AutoCAD just normal. It's the full-blown seat. And we can see here that LT comes in at a, 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 around 420 bucks a year. And then we'll look at AutoCAD coming in at almost 1690 well, almost $1,700 uh, dollars a year. So, you know, you can see that there's a pretty big price difference. In fact, our draft site professional is almost you know half the it's less than half the cost of the LT version and I'll show you a little drop sheet a little bit later but it has almost as much power as AutoCAD actually it has a little bit more power than the full blown AutoCAD seat so you know keep that in mind when you're looking at it it's like you know this could definitely be uh, you know even if you're using AutoCAD today or you have a seat of it even if you have AutoCAD LT I run plenty of people that are like oh yeah well you know we don't use full blown AutoCAD we could do everything at AutoCAD LT and it, you know it's a lot cheaper. Yeah, you're right. It is a lot cheaper. But there's even a more uh, uh, there's a more less ex there's a more less expensive way to go. Um, and that's going to be with that draft site uh, you know condition there. So, you know, what it comes down to is, you know, which one should you look at? And I've got the price listing right here. I've got them all laid out for us to take a look at. You've got your standard, your professional, your premium, and then you do have your AutoCAD LT and your AutoCAD over there on the right-hand side. Well, let's take a look at it. Well, at $99, which is draft site standard, you get comprehensive 2D drafting, drawing documentation, and annotation, um, and then also external drawing and image referencing, so XREFs if you're an AutoCAD user from back in the day. Now, with that being said, for $99 a year, you basically have the capability of doing what everybody else has the capability of doing. Um, and um, I will say right now, like from my prior experience, I, I was in the um, aerospace. <laughs> I was in the aerospace industry when I was using a lot of the 2D. It was I was doing cargo systems, and uh, that's where a lot of my AutoCAD experience had come from. Worked there for a long time doing design work and drafting. And I will say, this draft site standard probably covers 95, 90 percent of everything that I needed to use our AutoCAD for. So, um, you know, if I was doing that today and, and I was looking at it, uh, I would definitely go with the standard seat because I know what it can do. Uh, it's the one that, you know, when I'm doing my, you know, house updates here and stuff like that, it's the one that I crack out. Uh, my wife laughs at me because she's like, you're this big 3D person. Why are you doing this in 2D? And I'm like, because I was trained to do it in 2D. So we can see right there, you know, you know, LT, a lot of people say, oh, LT does exactly what I need. Um, you know, you know, I don't need the full blown seat of AutoCAD, but here's something that's less than a quarter of the cost that can do exactly the same thing that LT can. In fact, if I take a look at it, let's take a look a little bit farther. You know, this is the draft site column right here, the standard that we were just talking about. It kind of falls off the list at this point. Now, if we jump over to the $199 version, the professional version, you can see that LT can do a couple more more of these things. They can do smart dimensioning and drawing compare and underlay and export and DG and import and underlays, but we continue to move on from there. One of the big things that we bring into it is the fact that you can use your APIs. If you created APIs or done any kind of macro editing, if you have list routines that are used out there, um, you know, the, the draft site standard can't bring those in, but Draft site professional can. Um, and that, that little bit percentage that I was talking about was actually some of those stuff that we had. I actually had some auto list routines uh, that I used a lot. And uh, that was the one thing I didn't like about draft site standard. But once I got into professional, I could bring those in. I could convert them over. I could bring them in. But along with that, we also get the ability to record your macros. You get your power trim capability. You get your image tracer, your topple tracer. This is what I love about it. You get a G code generator. So it will look at the 2D geometry and generate some g-code that you can throw over to your 2d router or maybe one of those new laser machines that are coming out uh, that you know that you can do the wood cutting and stuff like that so you know taking a look at it you know at, at a certain point you know, they just can't really compete anymore they're not doing any of the automation any of the programming so at this point for two hundred dollars less than half the cost of lt i've now exceeded what lt could do and uh you know this image tracer is actually really cool especially if you're getting into the wood cutting with the g code generator i mean this is allowing you to open up a logo that's a picture convert it to drawing format and then shoot that out and then have that getting cut in sh fair short order or without doing too much work, without going into a secondary program or a tertiary program, trying to get that stuff over to the machine to get cut. 
Now, we'll also take a look here. Basically, we're in cahoots with this level, the full-blown AutoCAD at this point. We're at 200 over here. We're at 1,700 per year here. And you can still see that you're getting quite a bit more capability than what AutoCAD has coming out. Now, we do have a draft site premium. You can see that this is pretty much mimicking through here down to here. And the big thing here is, is I'm going to go down to the list here. But what we're seeing is we're seeing that draft site premium is going to also match what auto, full blown AutoCAD can, which is really parametric constraints similar to SolidWorks sketches where you can add relationships between lines and make things parallel and not just a, not just a snap function, but actually say, hey, this line is going to react to this line moving. The other ones that we have the capability of doing is 3D modeling. So 3D solids, surface meshes, um, and then obviously if you're working in 3D, we're going to want the ability to be able to uh, rotate that around in 3D. And this is where DraftSite Premium is coming into play. There are people out there, I've run into them a couple times, uh, you know, trying to get them to get into SOLIDWORKS. And one of the things that they're doing is they're coming from AutoCAD doing three-dimensional stuff and they're getting into SOLIDWORKS to do more three-dimensional stuff. Well, you know, they're going to have old data that is going to need to be modified. They don't want to pay $1,700 a year for, you know, a different CAD package. And especially when I point to them and say for a third, less than a third of that cost, they can get into a draft site premium and uh, actually get that to work a little bit bit better for them. In fact, if I take a look at it, um, let's jump back into here. I mean, this is a full-blown set of tools that's here. Um, all your tool uh, bars are here. In fact, the, the, the best thing I can say is uh, if you get into draft site, you probably spend about anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes just setting up your, your bars here. Um, and you can get them set up, especially if you're coming from like, say, a 2D editor like AutoCAD, you can get these bars set up just exactly the way they were before. If you're like me, like I said, I'm an old timer uh, with using CAD, I like the command window. So I type... I come in and I actually type in <laughs> Limby. Um, I actually come in and type land or, or line. And so if I need to go from the end point here and then go to the midpoint here, I mean, I'm just typing the stuff in just like I used to do back in the day. But all the commands are there. Like when I first got into this, I was like, oh, this is just like AutoCAD. Well, it, it is. Uh, if you knew how to do the stuff in AutoCAD, you know how to do it here. And that's going to be a big benefit is that this isn't some off the wall, some like, oh, we're going to do 2D CAD, but we're going to make it a little bit different. This is really just a standard 2D CAD type package. It means that if you know how to use AutoCAD, there's really no learning curve to get into this. You don't have to learn a new interface. You don't have to learn a new way of doing things. You know, if you need a line, you type line. If you type L, oh, look, it's a line. If you type E, oh, it's a race, you know. So, you know, a lot of the commands are going to come right over. The other thing is, is you're going to get a couple different options. I mean, your layer controls are here. You know, your line types are here. Everything's here. Um, so, you know, that's going to be one of those big things is like it's pretty easy to get into. It's extremely easy to use, especially if you're coming from 2D. And, you know, it it's a lot cheaper. So you're not going to waste time trying to learn it. You're not going to waste money trying to get into it or anything like that. On top of that, though, and this is not coming from me so much, I, I read quite a few articles out there. I was really trying to figure out what's the difference between the two. And one thing that popped up a couple of times, and I should have grabbed it when I did it, so you're going to have to take my word for it. I apologize. Uh, but uh, some people said that it seemed to be faster um, and, and that that was partially because AutoCAD's been around for a long time. It's got a lot of extra things that are in it, and a lot of those extra things aren't what everybody may be using on a regular basis. Um, you know, this one's coming from a different solution where it's like, hey, we're going to start first with a 2D CAD package and then they've added to it since then. Um, to kind of put this in perspective, though, what I want to show you here is that piece that I opened up just here in the background, we're coming in at about 69K and that's a fair size drawing. You know, I've got different layers in there and the line types and all that good stuff. But I was kind of curious on the speed. So I do have a drawing here that's coming in at 21 meg, which is a fair size 2D drawing. Uh, if I drag and drop this in, just like I did before, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's rendering it in the background, so it's kind of reading the data. But we find that it actually opens it up pretty quick. And this is live, so this isn't something recorded. I'm not showing you this on the fly. Um, you know, all my commands are there that I can see. So I can do a zoom extents. Um, I can do a zoom window, get into where I want to look. But um, there's a lot of detail that's in here. If we take a look at it, lots of splines, lots of ellipses. There's lots of circles, lots of lines. And 
it's really, really snappy, and that's what I kind of like about it. Not a lot of lag going on here, if at all. When I zoom in, it's zooming in exactly the way that I need it to, and I, it seems to work well. I mean, I, I know I've worked with pretty large drawings in the past. Like I said, we did aircraft cargo systems, um, you know, and they would get up to like 8, 10, 12 meg. I mean, there was a lot of information in them, and, you know, our computers back then would slow down. Granted, they were a lot slower back then, but it's really nice to see that even with the 20 meg drawing, Drawing, this thing just opens up, zooms around, goes in. I can draw stuff, no hesitation, nothing whatsoever. So ultimately, you know, what I'm kind of saying here is that, you know, if you are using AutoCAD of any sort, I, you know, even the, 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 the low end one, which is going to give you a lot of the same functionality, I would say it's not even going to hurt to get into it. It's $99. You get it for a year. If you don't like it, you don't get your, you know, don't renew it, but do that and compare it to the AutoCAD that's here. And like I said, I actually came from that industry. I was in the AutoCAD industry. I was doing 2D drawings. Um, you know, I was very proud of my skills and my speed and stuff like that. And when I saw this new draft site, I do have to say, I kind of put my nose in there going, mm, I don't know. You know, AutoCAD's been around for quite some time. Um, I, I've been really surprised at how well it worked. Um, and, and not, you know, it, that's kind of bad to say, but um, I, I'm not so surprised anymore. It's like, hey, look at this. They're doing this now. This is great. And so I need to give it a chance before I made the opinion is really what I guess I'm saying here. So with all that being said, um, there's a couple places you can get more information. Uh, we've got the goengineer.com slash draft site. That'll go ahead and get you to the main portion there. Um, and also, if anything, you can always give us a call at 1-800-688-3234. Um, and that'll get you in contact with uh, you know someone in, in, in the sales. Or if you if you have SOLIDWORKS and you, you, have a, uh, you have an account manager that you deal with regularly and you want to look into this, always feel free to get a hold of them. They'll be able to help you out and kind of direct you and get you going in the right direction there. We're going to go ahead and uh, that's that's about all I have at this time. So, you know, those of you guys that had shown up, I do appreciate your time. Uh, hopefully it's gave you a little bit more information of what's going on. And uh, if anything, just uh, remember, I'm Ryan Cole. I'm one of the applications in here, engineers here. And I do have my email address at ryan.cole at goengineer.com. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions uh, or help you out anyway. So if you have any questions there, uh, feel free to get a hold of me.